So it's very, very, very uh, traumatizing. It's very, very um, disrespectful, I think, to uh, an Indigenous community and especially somebody to receive this book, you know. And, and with my dad going to residential school, she brought up a lot of stuff, let me tell you. You know, it was contesting that they didn't exist. They, did, they weren't there. Those things are real. They are actually real, and they did happen to Indigenous people who went through the went through the school, right? And especially when you were just picked up, taken to the school, and you know, everything was taken away from you. So, very emotional. I mean, it, it was hard for me to to take, but I am in 100% behind Lataco Dene and having that meeting and being able to uh, to learn and educate ourselves. Before I go any further, I mean, I, I'm. It was. It is my wife that has the book, and um, to be honest, I haven't even opened it. I've looked at the cover, but I've got no interest in looking at it. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I just I have one question. I mean, the I need to know, and the community I feel needs to know, and have been asking me. Do you agree with what your wife has been doing in the community? No. So, moving along, I have a statement. Some will look upon this situation as a threat to our reconciliation efforts. I look upon it as a welcome opportunity for all of us Lahatahutin together to understand and respect one another's views and aspirations even more deeply. As is being asked by the Council of the Latako Dene Nation, I will be the first as leader of our council and our city and our greater community to positively and meaningfully reaffirm our memorandum of understanding that is so proudly displayed over there on that wall in these chambers. And I humbly accept Latako Dene Nation Council's kind invitation to us to meet openly with band elders as they help promote and foster our mutual understanding and compassion by sharing their painful first-hand knowledge of their treatment and survival of Indian residential schools.